Hi, my name is Nilsa Jimenez and I flew here from Newport News, Virginia to come get surgery at Seduction, which is located in Miami and Coral Gables. I'm staying at Dream House in Miami. Miami, where I'm yeah, right Miami. Now in Miami, which is an amazing place that have taken care of me since I've gotten here. They've done their utmost to do the best they can to make sure that I am in perfect health and in great recovery. My recovery process here has been amazing thanks to Dream House and the ladies that work here and run this place. I have no complaints about this place. This place is amazing. Now, as far as seduction, from the time that I enter the reception area to check in for my post op, it has been horrible. I was treated inhumane. The way I was spoken to, they belittled me. All they want there is your money and that's it. They never explained to me the process. They just took my money they told me that they would call me for my pre-op. They never called me for my pre-op and I had to call them and then got hung up on. Only to call back and have to explain to the girl, please don't hang up, I need to find out what my pre-op is. Only for her to be rude to me and tell me that it's at, it was at nine o'clock and that they were gonna cancel my surgery due to their negligence, not mine. So now they became rude and I got to crying. I was staying in South Beach at an Airbnb only for them to give me 10 minutes to get to their location, which was not close. Needless to say, I got there and the process was horrible. They don't let you read any of the paperwork. They rush you to the back and all they care is about taking your money. Another thing, when you're in your pre-op, they have you get naked in the office, put you against a board and take your pictures and that's it. There's no explanation of anything about the process. Not absolutely one thing. The next day, they tell me that, my coordinator told me the same day that I would be having my surgery at 6.30. I show up at 6.30. The doctor let me know that I would not be seen until later on that day and that I would wait to be seen before I can have my surgery because he had other people ahead of me. It was not personable. He was pretty rude. The ladies there were pretty rude to me. Any questions that I asked, they seemed annoyed. And I was going into, into something that I had no clue about, so I wanted an explanation on the process. But that didn't happen. So I was very disappointed. Only to have to go into surgery and go and get laid on the table and nothing is explained. They strap you to a table like you're a piece of meat and they turn around and put things on your legs to strap you, on your arms. The guy is doing your needle. The other one puts the mask on your face and when you wake up, you're in recovery. The worst thing about that, that when I came out, it was cold, they wouldn't give you a blanket. I just had a BBL and LiPo 360. I was on my backside, which is the first thing that they tell you, you should not be on your backside. They had me on my backside. I begged the lady for a blanket and to make me feel as comfortable as possible because I was so uncomfortable. She just told me to be quiet and wait for my ride and she wished my ride would hurry up and come. That I just had surgery. You know how I felt? That was inhumane, inconsiderate and she was not sympathetic at all to what was I going through. And I don't want anyone to ever have to go through that. I went for my pre-op and at my pre-op, I got treated even worse. I was laid up in the waiting room, upstairs in the pre-op with other girls that were asked to get up off their seats so they can lay me down because they didn't have a room to put me in, only for the masseuse to come out and bring me downstairs into a room. They stripped my clothes downstairs and leave me in that room dripping in blood with no blanket, cold, Nothing on the gurney for me to even lay down and be comfortable. Five hours, only to turn around and tell me that at 4.52 to go home and come back tomorrow. 
because they weren't gonna look at my wounds and that was the purpose that I went there. Had it not been for my driver that was persistent and insisted that they see me, they would not have seen me. Ladies, I don't want anyone to have to go through this journey. Plastic surgery is supposed to be a happy journey, something that you're doing for yourself, something to make you feel better, but they made me feel inhumane, they made me feel downgraded, and they treated me in a way that I would never want any, any doll or any person to want to be treated. So when it comes down to seduction, ladies, or comes down to any surgery center, please do your research. I would never suggest, and I ask you again, never suggest anyone to go there. They're unpersonable, they're unprofessional, and they do not give you the quality of care that you need. All they care about there is money. Now, if you want great recovery, and I say great recovery, come to Dream House. Cause this is quality care. They care about your recovery, about your well-being, and about your health. And everything that they do is for you, to make you comfortable and make you heal so that you can be in your best health before you go home. So ladies, again, please make sure that you do your research. Okay.